from the definition of integration as a limit of sum i can write fx equals to b minus integration a to b fx dx equals to b minus a limit n tends to infinite f a f a plus h plus f a plus 2h up to f a plus n minus 1 h divide by n where n is h is b minus a by n so in the question we uh, in the if i compare with the question fx is e power 2 minus 3x or b is 1 and a is 0 and h will be b minus a so 1 minus 0 by n or i can say h equals to 1 by n so if i put in the formula i'll get 0 to 1 e power 2 min 2 minus 3x dx equals to b minus a so 1 minus 0 limit n tends to infinity f value of a is 0 0 plus f 0 plus h plus f 0 plus 2h up to f 0 plus n minus 1 h so and divide by n so if i put the f 0 so now calculate the let values of the f0 will be if i put x equals to 0 it will be e power 2 minus 3 into 0 so e square f h equals to e power 2 minus 3 h f 2 h equals to e power 2 minus 6 h f e power 3h equals to e power 2 minus 3 into 3 9h so up to f n minus 1 h equals to e power 2 minus n minus 1 3n minus 1 h so putting the value of all 0 f f 0 f h f 2 h f 3 h i'll get e square plus e power 2 minus 3 h plus e power 3 minus 2 minus 6 h plus e power 2 minus 9 h up to n e power 2 minus 3 n minus 1 h divide by n since uh, here since a square is common in uh, every term so i can take it out so e square the remaining terms will be 1 plus e power minus 3h plus e power minus 2h 6h plus up to e power minus 3 and minus 1 h divide by n now since it is the sum of geometric progression so i can use the formula of sum of geometric progression which says a plus ar plus ar square dash 
up to n term its sum will be a 1 minus sorry a 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r power n so uh, if i use this formula here a is 1 so 1 1 minus r is e power minus 3h so it will be e power minus 3h divided by 1 minus e power minus 3h so i'll get if i put the value of h which is which is 1 by n so i'll get 1 minus e power minus 1 by 3 into n divided by 1 minus e power minus 3 by n so from in denominator numerator i'll get n tends to infinity e square it will be 1 minus e power minus 3 and in denominator i have 1 minus e power minus 3 by h e 3 by n so if i change the limit n to equals to 1 by h then limit will be now h tends to 0 since if i put n h equals to 0 n equals to infinity so our limit will be now h tends to 0 e square 1 minus e power minus 3 by 1 minus e power minus 3 by n so it will be minus 3 by h now if i multiply minus 3 h and divide minus 3 h in the denominator i'll get limit h tends to 0 e square sorry i am i just forgot to write 1 by n this this one so i'm just writing the n here and uh, here n and since 1 by n is h so i can write here h so from that that this i'll get e square 1 minus e power minus 3 h by minus 3 h and uh, here 1 minus e power minus 3 h by minus 3 h so it will be e square 1 minus e cube divided by minus 3 limit h tends to 0 1 by 1 minus e power minus 3 by h by minus 3 h which will be One. So our final answer is e square by minus 3 1 minus e power minus cube and uh, it will be 1 since I know that limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 divided by x equals to 1. So here if I write it as minus of limit h tends to 0 e power minus 3h minus 1 by minus 3h then it will minus 1 so multiplying minus 1 here i'll get e square by cube e square by e square by 3 1 minus e power minus 3 so this will be our final answer